Today's video is brought to you by the Mod Mat Mainboard by ModRite.com. Well, crikey's mate, is it Tech of Tomorrow? Is it the god dang blanking Nature Channel? No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, folks, check it out. Another Undoor unboxing. That's right, today we're bringing you the MSI M Power Max motherboard. That's right, I got this baby right here. It's based off the Z87 platform for all the new Haswell CPUs that were coming out. i5, Z i7s, all those bad boys. So, with that said, let's jump in and let's check out what comes in the box and what this new board's all about from MSI. All right, folks, so here we have it, the motherboard of the M Power Max from MSI, supporting the new fourth generation Intel Core processors. Obviously, the Z87 chipset. We got a little tab right here. Flips it open, you guys can see in the box and see those color schemes in there, the nice buzzing B, uh, black and yellow, which I've actually got a B buzzing by my, my damn head right now, which will go away. We'll close it up real quick. Bring it over to the side as I try to swoop the B away from my head. You can see it's OC certified, the Z87 M Power Max. There's a serial number and all that stuff right there. Flip it around real quick. Show you guys the back of the box. Once again, we see the OC certified. More than nomenclature. Military class burn-in test passed. Higher performance. Enhanced PWM cooling. Better power stability. Some of their features and stuff, their command center, their OC Genie 4, their audio boost, the killer E2200 NIC, which is on board, Sound Blaster Cinema, and the Virtue, what is that, MVP. So they got the Virtue MVP 2.0. This is for using your graphics cards in combination with your CPU. So with that said, check it out. Down here below me, we got the mod mat for your main board. And this thing's really bitching for doing unboxings too, because check it out, you get to ground yourself out. So get the camera to swing over here where you guys can see this, because we're mixing this all in one here today. So check it out, and the mod mat right here, you can ground yourself out, it easily pops off. Two of these come inside the box. So with that said, you guys can see all this here. Let's go ahead and begin the unboxing. All right, folks, I'm gonna pop the cap right here, pop the top, a couple flaps right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take everything nice and simply, set it out here. You guys can see, we got the motherboard in one box. Dun, dun, dun. And then we have all the accessory features right here. So let's first talk about the accessory features. So now we're gonna pop the cap, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Right on the top, we've got a bunch of easy connections right here. These are for connecting all your wires to your motherboard. They're all easily labeled, so you can see them and connect things up. We'll get that out of the way. Next up, we see the MSI Quick Installation Guide, a giant book telling you how to install your motherboard in case you don't know how. Then you get a High Performance OC Power MSI Intel 8 Series Platform Overclocking Guide telling you how to do some of your overclocking with the MSI OC functions. They have their direct OC button, their digit all power. This actually provides more power to your system when needed for overclocking. So this is actually pretty interesting stuff right here. Gives you an introduction to BIOS overclocking and everything else. So this actually is a pretty useful tool for those people who have never done anything before whatsoever. Good idea, MSI. Now here we go, all the other stuff, and damn, there is a lot of it. Right off the bat, we get the gaming G-Series MSI logo. Now, this is kind of a trippy because I didn't know this was one of the gaming series motherboards. I thought this was like their, you know, high-end motherboard, but hey, it's for gaming as well. And you get that badge. Here we go, some wires right here. These are for connecting up one of your digital power meters. So these things will connect directly to your board. You look up that thing, you can see all of your voltage and all that stuff right through these, through your meter. Then we have one, what we got here? One. A two, a three, a f let's see here, one, two, three, let's see, is that all we got right there? Okay, I'll keep going through here just to make sure, but okay. So we have three of the new SATA 6 cables right here. We have a breakout box right here. The breakout box provides power through Molex, eSATA, so you got dual eSATA and one Molex power connector right through this breakout box. And here are the connections for that. You actually get the cables and all that for that and an additional cable right here for SATA. Get that out of the way. Going on a rampage here. Here we have an SLI bridge. Next up, now this is pretty interesting. This is your antenna cable. VSO Electronics Company provides this thing. This is your antenna cable for your wireless LAN. Let me go ahead and take this out of here so you guys can check that out. 
So here's all of that. You get two antennas for dual connectivity. Gives you a lot more area for picking up bandwidth. Keep going down here. USB 3.0. Breakout box again. Or bracket. Rear I.O. Here we have the MSI Wi-Fi BT. This is their Intel Wi-Di. Now, this is pretty interesting, the Wi-Di technology. Um, in the future, there might be a lot more interfaces like this, but what this does right now, this is wireless display. And so if you can find some product out there that could use it, you can actually show the display through this wireless display. I think if monitors and TVs and more products actually had that connectivity, it would be an awesome product. For now, it's just a really cool idea. Also right here, folks, here are instructions on how to cook up your antenna cable and all that. Your installation guide and a little piece of paper. We have the drivers and utility CD. Then a no limits overclocking motherboard driver and CD. It's actually a DVD. It says it on there. Then we get a little nice anti-static bag that nothing's in. Just there for extra protection. A out buying LN2. Shannon Rob, is this you? Is this, this you, mister? You're out buying LN2, you're not around, buddy. All right. Busy breaking world records. So they have some cool stuff on this. Now, as we're getting down to the bottom of the box, I understand there's a lot of stuff here, folks. We get a certificate of quality and stability. Now, if only girlfriends came with these, wouldn't that be awesome? Now, be honest with me. Does the bitch come with a quality and stability warranty? Because if not, I don't want to. I'm just kidding. All right, we'll move on past that. And then we've got the Z87 M Power Max Overclocking Motherboard Uses Guide. Step it off the side. And last but not least, just uh, more nomenclature on stuff. So that's all that stuff, folks. You guys see there just comes with a shit ton of accessories. So let's move on and let's start checking out the damn board. All right, folks, so now we have the motherboard out of the box. And I have to say, this thing looks pretty damn killer. Now, the cameraman keeps joking over and over again, it's like Bumblebee, but you know what? I don't really think it's that bright as Bumblebee. It's semi-Bumblebee, but these color schemes are almost kind of gold tone. They're not totally gold tone, but they're, you know, semi-gold tone. Now, we're gonna start at the very top of the board. We're gonna see that we have two 8-pin power connectors up there. That's so you get lots of power to the board for overclocking and all kinds of other stuff. We're gonna work our way around. We're gonna see the first of our fans. All these fans can be controlled through the BIOS as well. Now let's take a look right here around the ZIF socket area. This is the LGA 1150 for the new fourth generation, obviously it has well chips. You guys can see all the MOSFETs are covered all the way around. Underneath you can see all of the quality chokes and all the components being used. These are very, very expensive high-end components. You can tell just by the way they look. Now we're gonna spin around and go to the side of the board. We see we have four DIMM slots for our memory. This motherboard can support up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. As we flip around the side of the board more, we're gonna see that we have a bunch of little ports right here. These are for connecting up a meter for measuring out all of your power on your board. So those little wires that I showed you guys when we did the unboxing, they hook up into this area right here, then into your meter, and that way you guys can be able to check all that stuff out. Now, as we keep going around the side of the motherboard, we're gonna see the 24 pin power connector right there. And then here we're gonna see two USB 3.0 external headers. There's actually two of those in this board. Then we'll bring our way down and here we see all the SATA connectivity. There are two types of connections. There's the Intel and the Asmedia. All these ones right here, two, four, six are all Intel. These ones right here are as media. Now it also says that when you use the fifth controller that the onboard MSATA, which I'll show you in a second, actually gets disabled. So let's keep moving around. We're gonna go down to the bottom of the board. Here down here, we have something very interesting. We're gonna see right below the little cooling thing right here, two BIOSes. You can see them right here, they're very small. But underneath that, we have the BIOS switch. So you can change between this and switch which BIOS you wanna use. So if one of them gets fried and overclock, you can switch the other one so it automatically posts up. Also next to that, we see the post light LEDs. If you're having a problem with your boot or anything, it'll tell you in a number what is wrong with your system so that you'll be able to go in, look at it and figure it out and move on. Down below that, 
We have the Fast B1 button. This little button right here allows you to click and go directly into your BIOS upon a restart. So you click this button, and when you do the restart, it automatically goes into your BIOS. So now as we move along the bottom of the board, we can see there's more USB connectivity. We see a couple more system fan connections down here as well. Then right here, we see the BIOS reset switch. It's not actually the type of BIOS reset switch like normal. You have to actually put a jumper on here. And if you put the jumper on here, it'll actually disengage or reset the BIOS. Then I'm just gonna bounce over here to the real far side over here where we see the front panel audio and then we see the OC switch. Now this allows you to go between gear one and gear two for overclocking. Then right next to that, we see the OC Genie button. You hit that button, it does automatic overclocking on your board and tells you pretty much how far to go within their standards. Next to that, we have the power button, the reset button, and then these two switches right here, which have positive and negative, these two things allow you to go onto the motherboard. And when you're using onboard testing and overclocking, like when you have LN2 and stuff, you can control the board directly through here. So pretty interesting stuff for the overclocker. Now we're gonna continue moving around. We'll see right here, they have the audio boost right here. This is part of the stuff that has to do with the creative sound. Now the creative sound on here isn't actually pure. It's actually a Realtek ALC 1150 audio chip. So you're using that audio chip. You're not actually using a creative audio chip. The creative stuff comes all via software implementation. Now let's actually take a look at the expansion and the PCI and the MSATA port. So right here at the top, we have one, two, three, four of your PCI Express 1X slots. And then we have one, two, three. PCI Express multi-slots. Now this board will allow either three cards in triple crossfire or two cards in SLI, but you can also use that Virtua 2.0 to use a mixture of cards and the CPU to get better performance. That's a whole nother video in itself though, folks. And then right here on the board, we see the MSATA power port. And like I said before, it says that when you use this, it automatically disables SATA 5. You can also tell down here by the audio that all the components are very high quality. And last but not least, folks, let's turn around and let's take a look at the rear I.O. Now the rear I.O. on this board features legacy PS2 keyboard mouse. Also have two USB 2.0 ports. The clear CMOS switch, so if this thing's inside of your case, you can click this little button right here, it automatically clears the CMOS for you. Then over here, we have two USB 3.0 ports, another two USB ports. Up above that, we have that killer NIC LAN that we were talking about before. Display port, HDMI, digital audio, another HDMI port. So this board actually has two HDMI ports and a display port, but no DVI. Then we have two more USB 3.0 ports, and then we have all of the gold-plated 7.1 analog audio. All right, folks, so there you have it, the brand new M-Power Max motherboard. That's right, this is the Z87 model from the people over at MSI. Lots and lots of great components in this motherboard. Lots and lots of great content. I try to bring you as much information in the unboxing as possible. Before in the old days, we just bring it out of the box, but we try to cover all the components and all that stuff now. You see grounded out, a lot of you folks complained about that in the past, but hey, this new mod mat from the people over at ModRite is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna be using this thing in all my videos for now on, because it's actually quite nice and does do something pretty cool. So anyways, we hope you guys like this video. If so, you guys know what to do. Do I have to ask you again? Come on, it's great for interactivity. Always leave your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'm gonna build me a badass system on this. I just think it's really cool. Not Bumblebee either, but it's gonna be kind of cool. I'm actually thinking because of the color scheme, it's gonna sound not weird, but I'm thinking like maybe like Knights of the Round Table or King Arthur type build. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it gives me that medieval type feeling. So that's it folks, I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out, if you're not subscribed and you wanna see more, then hey, you know what to do, hit that sub button.